12-235 State v. Dalton Atkinson Possession of Methamphetamine. Sir, I've appointed the Public Defender's Office to represent you. Is he fair, here for an arraignment? He is, I believe, on the his first appearance on the application. Okay. Is he entering a plea of not true? He is, Your Honor. Okay. We'll look at the allegations. Hearing on February 27th. Judge, we had um, uh, discussed him being able to get into a rehabilitation facility pending the disposition of this case. Um, I'm not sure if the state is still agreeable to that at this moment in time, but we would ask the court to approve that if he's able to get into one. Judge, I, well, I had talked to Mr. Ducio. My thought was um, putting an RPF in the drug rehab program there. I guess if he gets in the residential treatment program, we can see him, see where we go with the problem. This gentleman, he's just not doing anything. He's not paying fines, costs, not paying restitution, not doing anything. And that being the case, he might as well be in the penitentiary, you know, on the whole squad. But if he will get in re rehab and actually perform when he gets out, and the state really probably doesn't check for that. Okay, how about this? Why don't you inquire into a potential rehab? We'll take a look at it. Thank you, Your Honor. I believe my client's already done some of that, so we'll yeah. okay. You'll need to wait 60 days, Andrew. Well, absolutely. Okay, well, I'm, if I'm, it comes to that. I'm just going to leave the hearing on <laughs> sure. February 27th as we, I'm sorry, not That's 27, that. March 27th. Thank you, Your Honor. 13257, State versus Courtney Goodwin. Obtaining controlled substance by fraud. Good morning, Judge. I'm Amanda Jackson, a special deputy prosecuting attorney from uh, the Arkansas Attorney General's office. Yes, ma'am. Um, we have a negotiated agreement in this matter. Okay. All right. And that's in the police statement here? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. I will go over this. Uh, Ms. Goodwin, I'm looking at a police statement here. Have you gone over this document? Yes, sir. Do you feel you understand the matters set out in the police statement? Yes, sir. Do you understand the charges against you? Yes, sir. Do you understand the range of possible penalties if you're convicted? Yes, sir. Are you entering a plea of guilty to obtaining a controlled substance by fraud? Yes, sir. By doing so, you're giving up your right to have a jury trial. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. You're also giving up your right to an appeal. You cannot appeal. Do you understand that, yes, too? Yes, sir. Are you entering this plea freely and voluntarily? Yes, sir. Other than the recommendation regarding your sentence, which is in this document, other than that, have you been promised anything? No, sir. <coughs> Pardon me. Have you been threatened or coerced in any manner in order to get no, you to change your plea? And ma'am, are you pleading guilty because you're in fact guilty? Yes. Yes, that's rather long. What did she, what, what did she do? What did you do? I took three pills from three different residents. Okay, and you were working at a uh, Pine Lane. You were a, a licensed practical nurse. Yes, sir. Working at a nursing home. Okay. This time, ma'am, I'll accept your plea and judge you guilty. I'll place you on three years probation. During that time, be of good behavior. Don't violate the law. Report to the probation office and obey the terms and conditions provided to you. As a condition of your probation you're to su successfully complete a rehabilitation program I guess that's a drug rehabilitation program which approved by your probation officer and if you successfully complete probation you can petition to have your record sealed but you remember that does not automatically happen you have to petition to do that okay now you're ordered to pay two hundred dollars in cost a thousand dollar fine two hundred dollar public defender fee a DNA fee of 250 a twenty dollar booking fee the drug crime assessment of $125, you'll pay the sums you owe at the rate of $100 per month beginning within 30 days, and you make your payments to the Sheriff's Department. Here. Okay. And before you go, you'll need to see a probation officer, this gentleman here. So if you will just go with him, I'll give him your file. 13183 State versus Brandon Watkins battery in the first degree. You know, this matters for a reappearance today. We're working with the state to try to find a resolution to this matter. We we just ask the court to recall it that the court's next time he's going to be here if that'd be acceptable, Your Honor. Okay. Which case is it? Watkins, yes, sir. Judge, we have, have some matters of plea pending on that. It's set for trial. I'm working with uh, Dave's, Dave's office to resolve that. Okay. 
You mean have him appear on February 27th? If you would not mind, Your Honor. Okay. It's set for trial next week. Well, we may want to get it jumped on before. Can All we, right. would you agree to let's continue for a short period of time for that? Or you can, you can play him before Judge Webb if he's here. Or is it next week, you say? It's set on the 18th. Well, I'll file your motion. We'll have him appear. We've got a plea through. We think resolved on this. Right. We'll file a motion for continuance, Your Honor. We'll take it off the docket for next week, and we'll have him back on the 27th, Your Honor. We believe we'll have it resolved at that time. Very well. Thank you, Your Honor. 13-159, State versus Kristen Coaster. Possession of controlled substance with purpose to deliver. Possession of drug paraphernalia, 13-159. Um, I've, I've spoken with uh, Mr. McCade on this, and uh, my client's entering a, a rehab program. And uh, if we could continue this out uh, at least around 45 days uh, on the defense motion, uh, I believe we can have something worked out um, after that point. Trying to figure out where we're at here. She's set for trial March 18th, I believe. Judge, just a simple possession case. It's, uh, I think, will be resolved. It, if she's willing to deal with her addiction, that's fine. The state, uh, the state doesn't mind them doing that, but I'd like a little bit more detail about where she's going to go, when she's going to go in it, how long she's going to be in it, those kinds of things. Seth, I'm not, not finding scheduling order that. Applies. When is it set for trial? March 18th. March 18th. Did you, so we can keep our record straight, would you file a short motion? I'll grant it. I will do that, Your Honor. Thank you very much. Thank you.